Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Eastward. Who's ready to get weird underground? Last time we cleared out some slugs in the power planty area that powers Pot Croc Isle underground. But unfortunately, we broke our frying pan. We were able to have our friend Mason fix it for us. And now we're ready to make some dinner. Let's go. Who's hungry? If you're hungry, consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing, of course. Sam's ready for dinner. I'm ready for dinner. I'm recording this right before my own. What's for dinner, John? Hmm? Sam wants to eat the sand droop. I'm not sure it's an actual food or not, but, uh... Yeah, apparently Sam is all about it. I guess it's a fruit of some sort? I don't know. One of the mechanics of this game that is very prevalent, that you're going to be seeing a lot throughout the course of this Let's Play, is cooking. Here we go! And oddly enough, there is a bit of a gambling. Some slots that if you nail all three of them in a row, you get a bonus to the quality and the potency of the food, I think. There we go. Three sand roops on the pot, along with apparently 10 more. There you go. And don't worry, we won't be watching this more than that. But this is kind of similar to the cooking from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda. So as you make food, if you're more successful when you hit your roulette, you get a critical hit bonus or a critical bonus in this case. We can recover up to eight hearts. It says sand root pasta. The hard as nail sand root becomes soft as soup after cooking. Pour it over some noodles. Yum! So there you go. We only have room in our backpack currently for two meals. That man's juicy wiener and sand roots. So there you go. Don't forget, tomorrow Sam's going to be doing some book learning. Sam is very excited, understandably so, for her first day of school. And understandably, Sam's also sad about the fact that she can't see the sky. She needs nature to survive, as we all do. Can't survive underground. Now we have to remember, from the intro cutscene, Sam is not from this world. Now we're gonna, of course, consume the sand root pasta. That's not an actual meal that you'll keep with you. And that, my friends, is the uh, end of the prologue. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. Er. Okay. I guess we can continue for a little longer. Onward to chapter one, coming up for air. Little did you know, Sam is actually a dolphin. She does seem pretty distressed, though. All this underground li life is not really a good place for a child. John appears to be sleeping sitting up, which is a skill I don't have, but I wish I did. Viewers, can you sleep sitting up or... Fall asleep really quickly. I am incapable of either of those things. Sam is ready to go to school. She's got to freshen up a little bit. A little split screen action. We can't delay. Sam's first day of school. You got to make a good impression with your new friends. I remember going to school on your first day and being just mortified that your parents would embarrass you. Uh oh, looks like there's a bulletin. What could this be? Well, I guess we'll find out later. Let's see where the map wants us to go. If you scroll up, you can see just north 
you're going to want to head right to school. Pretty obvious. Let's go ahead and get busy. Let's get it going, everybody into the school. One of the things I love about this game are just how ridiculous every character is. Every single character is just super colorful and exaggerated and ridiculous. Like this person, Principal Tacoma, looks like a clown. Uh-oh. Is there a problem here? Oh boy. Also, once again, the text often scrolls on its own, so it's more for effect I can't control that. But it appears that we've tried to enroll in school, but we can't do so without a reference letter, and that's a problem. So it looks like we're gonna have to go get that. Where do we get that? Well, it appears that maybe we can get one from the mayor's house. Let's go this way. Now before you get too far ahead, don't forget to come up this way. A little sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Coming all the way over here, get yourself a little bonus. If I could properly do that, it'd be wonderful. Oh yeah, three tokens. Those, of course, are the tokens used to get yourself Pix Balls. Which we'll be worrying about later. Just something to hold on to for the future. Let's talk to this guy. Captain Tiger, of course. Hopefully the mayor will be kind enough to let us enroll in school. But yeah, silly us. Always forgetful as always. Testy as a tart in the morning. Viewers, are you testy as tarts in the morning? Or maybe the afternoon, or always? Oh, we have heard that a few times. It's one of the things that I really enjoy doing is, uh, just talking to as many NPCs. Uh oh. What's the big deal here, Arthur? A-A-R-G... Also, sometimes talking to NPCs doesn't always remove the flags of the game thinking that you've gone through the cutscene or not, so just be wary of that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This house is huge! That's what she... This is, you know, very dystopian, very kind of tropey of the mayor or leader of the civilization that you're a part of, of course, being the one that's the most well-off. This is Mayor Hoffman as we met earlier underground. The set design here is really nice. You can see the lights on the plants because we are, of course, underground. Anybody ever grow plants inside? Maybe use some UV lights? Seems uh, the head honcho has forgotten about our deal. But Sam has it. Sam's gonna remind you. <gasps> How dare you? Every child has a place in school. No child left for you. And uh, surprisingly, here's our buddies from the dig site. Maybe they can give old mayor a reminder. There we go. Chuck and Yawn got our backs. There we go. This is obviously unintentional, but... Can't hurt our cause, right? Hot skipping straight to old... Sharon. We still haven't quite figured out what that means. But they've referenced it twice, and it sounds like a punishment of some sort. It is kind of weird, though, how the sprites kind of wiggle a little bit, or like, it, I mean, I'm assuming it's them trying to be breathing, but it just kind of makes them look a little gooey. And there we go. A 
politician being held accountable by their words can be one of the toughest things to do. Oh, you adorable little jack and ape. That's an insult that I've never heard before. But Sam, understandably, still needs the letter. Well, that was easy. All right. Mayor's reference letter obtained. Very good, very good. Now we can get Sam properly outfitted with her first experience at school. But the mayor is clearly very upset about that. He is steaming. Old Arthur, very excited to not be uh, dealing with the wrath of the mayor. So let's go ahead and head back to school. Now we can finally get Sam enrolled and get her some book learning. She needs it. Another new music track. It appears these children are bullying this small child. That's not cool. I'm sure we've all been bullied at some point in our lives, unfortunately. It's very cruel. Children can be cruel. And they're taunting this kid. Who apparently has a father who's been to the surface. Going to the surface is a common tease amongst these children. Now everybody obviously still refers to it as the forbidden land. You're not allowed to go to the surface. Being down below is all that you know. Poor kid. But here's Sam to save the day from these hoodlums. And apparently they know about the John and Sam relationship, the backstory. That's a little strange. Apparently word gets around. These kids are very destructive. You little jerks. Ooh, that's not cool. Sam beat him up. Sam doesn't care. She's not putting up with any of this. Oh, okay. A little bit of invulnerability there. Handsy. The mayor is the uncle, huh? Once again, another threat of going to the surface. Interesting. Uh-oh, what is happening? Um, okay, Sam has somehow split into two and one blueberry and one strawberry variant. What is happening? Good question, who is this? Okay, that's not ominous at all. Very strange. Just gonna walk right through us. Okay. Street rabbit, are we Aladdin? How many did you guys to bug off? All right, jeez. Sam just saw a ghost version of herself. Way more important than you little bullies. Very strange. That's going to be a plot device that'll come back. Don't worry. That's not the only time you'll see that. All right, let's get Sam inside. Let's talk to the old principal here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. We got it. Coming right up. The reference letter. Well, it has to. We got it directly from the mayor. You wouldn't want to cross paths with the mayor, would you? Sam will do just fine, don't worry. I'm sure she'll have a wonderful experience. Yeah, the mayor's niece, the little jerk. Best student, got the sharpest mouth, that's for sure. 
Yeah, yeah, of course. Blame the other kid. Victim blaming. Not cool. Poor Daniel. Hope he'll be okay. Let's go ahead and see where we're intended to go next. So it looks like we're going to be heading back to the ranch. Let's go ahead and do that. We can actually get there from just going straight east. On the railroad tracks. It is a little strange to me that they don't include any music when you go through this part of the game, but I guess this is how it is. But uh, yeah, Sunny's Head Ranch, here we are. My favorite track, I'm gonna listen to this for just a moment because I enjoy it. We had old Mason here come and fix our pot, which is very kind. Now we can use it to, to whack things. But we were offered a job previously from Demir. How about we go ahead and try some old-fashioned ranch work? Let's try it. That's right, we're new on the job. Hopefully you guys will treat us right. Oh, thank you. Oh, they're talking about the ruins on us. I got you. Okay. Blister hot steam. I wonder if that'll come into play at all in the not too distant future. Who knows? Now, who are you talking about? Oh, we're having crabs and pot. Usually those independently, one is good and one is bad, but together, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Probably need a lot of pot to be okay with having crabs. Thank you for that, Hank, for clearing it up. You're very kind. Yes, this game likes to hit you over the head a little bit sometimes. Very interesting. Ten legs? Ugh. Anybody ever have a pet crab? I had a hermit crab when I was growing up. I was a very creative child and named him Hermes. but it appears that this is the method of growing the sand roofs here at the Sunnyside Ranch by murdering crabs. Wonderful. Would love to not have to continue to hear about this. Okay, so it seems like we're gonna be doing maybe a little bit of sand roof harvesting. Interesting. All right. I'm sure we can help with that. Oh. Sacrificing pot crabs for sand roops. All right. So the goal of this little mini game, which is uh, unnecessarily uh, in the game. I'm not sure why they did this, but um, you're just going to be trying to hit the sand roops into the uh, into the little um, cave, or what are you going to call the hole? Oops. Would help if I wouldn't have missed. Hitting it into the hole here in the ground. I don't know if it actually makes a good score or not. Probably helps if you don't miss, of course. I like we're doing okay. There is, of course, the red-leaved one, which is over there. It's worth more, I believe. And you have to let your pot charge up in order for this to work. But sometimes you'll wind up overhitting it, like I just did. That's not good. Oh, knocked it into the, into the hole for us. Very cool. Thank you, sand root crab. Pot crab is a friend of mine. I don't know how long you get, either. Oh, there's a timer on the bottom left. If I would be able to pay attention to that, that would probably help. Let's see if we can get a red one in there. The crabs will, of course, be pushing the sand roofs away, which is kind of annoying. It appears these red ones... I just want to get one red one in there, please. Yes, I did it! All right, score of 105. I don't know if that's good or not. We will find out here in a moment. And... Sam with the trumpet. Does that mean we did good, or...? Okay, not bad! 
A little bit of praise is appreciated. And here's our reward. Not bad, 50 salt. Okay, we'll take it. Pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what's a good uh, score now. I have no idea. Four eyes' his dad is a fantasist? What does that mean? I have no idea. Ooh. Apparently going to the surface is only something that people fantasize about. Interesting. Seems like the people underground are... have a little bit of a cult of personality when it comes to... being afraid of the surface. The mayor is... Spreading some propagandas. Uh oh. Is there someone stuck in the bathroom? I think somebody lost their coin. This is why you, this is why you don't go change in the bathroom. Maybe Sam can sort things out for them. I don't think Sam cares about it at this point. She's very headstrong. She'll take you on. But now that we are back to John, let's go back to school and check on Sam. We got paid for a decent day's work at the ranch. I'm assuming you probably get more money, depending upon how many points you get. We need to go check up on Sam. What do her friends have to say? Um, we're an adult, okay? I'm not afraid of some punk little kids. Yeah, maybe you guys are, you big babies. Michael Hunt, there he is. Oh boy, don't do that. The confrontation continues. Who is this? Is this the kid we saw outside that was being bullied? Um, coming to check up on you, duh. Oh, it's Daniel, okay. Seems like Daniel's in need of some rescuing. A fire-breathing iron dragon. Um, you've been playing too many video games, okay? But that will have to wait until next time. We will go and rescue Daniel. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Eastward, and I'll see you later. Bye.